Hi, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you to my subscribers, I really appreciate it. And to my new subscribers, welcome. Um, if you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So today I'm very excited. I'm going to be um, using the Razor Rock Aqua um, Shaving Soap and Aftershave. Uh, so very exciting. Now, I just wanted to quickly cover um, the Mitchell Wall Fat, um, that, that I've done two videos uh, specifically on Mitchell Wall, wall Fat, and I had one of my uh, subscribers reliably inform me that there are some dud Mitchell Wall Fats out there, um, guys that have been using this for 20 years, all of a sudden have got a pup that doesn't lather or behave the same way. So it's possible that I've got a bad batch of the Mitchell Wall Fat, and that's why the performance uh, is for me, really terrible. Uh, it just doesn't perform very well. So I'm not a big fan of it, um, and maybe it's a bad soap, but I think that that's not really excusable to, to put out a bad product like this if you've got a bad batch. Now, I should mention that something like um, the Sterling has batch numbers on it. And when you're paying um, almost as much for this as this, um, Put a batch number on it. I get more of this actually than that and uh, I think batch numbers <coughs> are a very useful thing for artisan, um, <coughs> for artisan um, producers and um, this stuff feels like cheap, 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 cheap to me. Anyway, um, people love it and maybe there's good batches and bad batches out there. So anyway, let's start by reading the ingredients list. This is actually made in Italy and imported to uh, Canada and sold under the Razor Rock brand. So clearly Razor Rock has relationships in Italy, um, which I think is fantastic because Italians make some really fantastic products. So um, it's water, steric acid, coconut. Um, it's got some uh, tallow um, acid in it. It's got shea butter. It's got argan oil, um, which is good for hair and skin, uh, aloe. And um, it reads okay, the, the list. Now, the scent strength is very, very low on this. It's like a 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. And when I compare it to one of my favorite soaps, the Venture, yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this is something that transports you. So if you, if you want to be transported to, to another dimension, like, like really, um, this Venture is... Um, yeah, it's top smell, but this um, this is very mild. I mean, definitely has aquatic notes in there, but it's just so mild. So I've just got my yak yaki mocha brush, and um, I've smeared one gram of soap on here. So let's see how it lathers, and uh, let's see how it performs today. I am using the Game Changer um, 0 0.68 uh, with the Astra Blade for the fourth time. Now one gram smeared onto the bottom of this, uh, it's already starting to work up a treat. It's a soft croak um, and you get about 100 and, uh, 150 mils of it, so it's quite a a decent amount and the price is fairly good for it so I always start with less water and just work it up by adding more and more water yeah and uh, the scent is very very mild it does smell aquatic but it's a very very mild aquatic scent so now that we've got a very thick lather and um, that soap is beginning to hydrate that's the point where I start to add more water. So you don't need to lather like a boss with this so much that you that you would have to um, um, bloom it. <laughs> I like that's why these softer soaps and these softer cropes um, are really really useful to lather quickly. So if you're in a rush, um, definitely a softer product is a way to go. You know, not not everyone's going to take the time to to hydrate that soap. 
Let's have a feel now that we've worked up um, a decent amount of lather. This is exactly one gram I've weighed it out. And we've let that rest just slightly. And it looks very, very rich. There's a scent there now, but it's mild. Hmm, has, has reasonable slickness. Reasonable so far. Yeah, I get the scent. And it has that kind of... A bit of citrus in there. And it's a, a slightly sweeter uh, aquatic scent. It's a good looking lather. And uh, it's really starting to hydrate up now. You can just see by the colour and the thickness as it begins to really take on that water. Now, Razor Rock, I think, I mean, from what I've observed and their products, I mean, just generally speaking, it's val extreme value for the money. I mean, I think they produce the most inexpensive CNC manufactured razors and um, I've used the Hawk now and the Game Changer and I think it's uh, they're, they're very very high quality let's feel for the slickness it has good slickness for sure but yeah it, it's good slickness it's not it's not like amazing slickness but it's good slickness Let's, let's feel it. This is 24 hours of growth after nailing that shave yesterday. Like I, I'm really starting to dial in with this game changer. I mean, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Very pleasant smell. I like it. Okay. Really getting the hair now. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. So the Astro Blade in this game changer, it's uh, hitting the spotless feel. If there's much residual slickness, and there is some residual slickness there. Again, it's probably about 60% mm, of Arco's residual slickness, to give you some idea. Uh, and it um, completely um, beats um, the Mitchell Wolf out. Yeah, there's no doubt. So I'll just touch more water to this and really work it in.
And um, because uh, this is dialed in, I'm just going to go straight into um, against the grain. Just know this here direction. Yeah, beautiful. So really, as a daily driver, you can get away with two passes with this without problems. Look at that. That's it. Cut the mold. Now I'm going to do something that I don't normally do and use this splash directly on my face. Now it's got denaturated um, alcohol, water, um, hydrogenated castor oil, polysorbate 20, 
menthol and a whole bunch of other nasty things. This is not good for your skin, but um, I do like it. Scent strength is high on this. Whoa, that's got some sting to it. And yeah, it's a bit sweeter. Mm. And um, because it has some ingredients, it will definitely stop any bleeding, I think, um, and just sterilize the skin. But I'm still going to use my hyaluronic on top of that. Mm, performance wise, it beats uh, Mitchell's wool fat. Um, but um, it doesn't beat Arpo by any means. It's a nice, gentle, aquatic smell. Um, you definitely need the splash um, to, to, you know, instead of an eau de toilette. Um, that's what's going to give you the, the, the real scent. The scent strength in this is about seven and a half. Very lemony. Um, it has a lot of lemon kind of citrus stuff. But the, um, this, this is very low. This is like a 3 out of 10. Um, performance wise, um, there's, it, 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 there's a lot for one gram. You can easily do three passes with it. Um, it's good performance. I'd say probably about 7 out of 10. Um, so yeah. But for me... The Venture by Captain's Choice um, beats performance and beats the scent of the Aqua. But I think I would I don't regret buying this Aqua by Razor Rock. Yeah, I just prefer this scent. This, this scent, this scent is the scent strength is much stronger and it's much more evocative of um, the qualities that I want. And this is just too mild. So um, yeah. The, the, the scent strength is not there. I think Aqua, Aqua is a nice product, certainly. Um, it's certainly good value because it's not expensive. The, this is much better, even though it's not so good for the skin. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I love my Aqua products. Anyway, um, just a, a short little um, finish. Ooh, I've got some blood is that the floods in Australia are getting worse and uh, I've got a mate up in Port Macquarie um, where all the roads are washed out um, and it's quite dangerous up there so your prayers and thoughts for the people in Port Macquarie would be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.